Hey guys, I am Red Herring, and it's time for another StarCraft II cast. With myself, Red Herring, spawning as the Blue Protoss at the bottom end of Zelnaga Caverns, and the top we have Tracky. Now guys, I know I have cast a bunch of games on Zelnaga Caverns recently, and uh, uh, yeah, so I, I, I know I've done a bunch of those, and I will try to vary up the maps, um, but you know, it seems like I get, or I have gotten in the past few days, a bunch of of good games on this map so you know no matter the map I will cast the game if it is uh, what I consider to be a good game so um, yeah it looks like I was chatting uh, with this guy a little bit about the Heart of the Swarm preview I don't know if you guys have been watching BlizzCon at all but I've, uh, I've seen a little bit uh, on the multiplayer side and uh, it looks pretty good um, however the carrier is gone I do say that there uh, the carrier is gone, and, and the, the the mothership's <laughs> the mothership's gone, and the Thor is actually going to be the new kind of hero unit, um, from what I gather. It's going to be um, you can only build one of them as Terran, and you need like a fusion core or something. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. I I don't know. Let me get, let me get, uh, know down below if you guys like hero units. Uh, it seems a little bit gimmicky. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I really like hero units, like the one build mega unit type of thing, but. Apparently Blizzard does. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty exciting uh, Protoss or Zerg here. Looks like he is going for the typical uh, 15 hat or 15 pool, uh, not 15 hatch, 15 pool. Um, getting his gas, going to get a hundred, and then probably pull out um, of the gas guys are there and get his expansion down. I am going for my ultra typical forge fast expand, and um, yeah, so I've been chatting. Thor is the new mama ship, which is odd, and it is a little bit weird, but um, it looks like um, he's just about hit, and he's actually, okay, so this is smart, <laughs> so this is his vision here, as soon as he sees my probe go away, he throws down a roach warren, it's not a, a hatchery after all, in fact he's not pulling drones out of gas, which is what I would have expected, um, and I am assuming, I am assuming, because I've seen this so many times, I'm assuming he's going for um, a hatch after this because you know this is a very typical opening but I, I leave my probe here I'm gonna scout the expo if it indeed comes down and yes he is getting roach he's getting speed for his length and his queen is about to finish if you look at my base I am getting a cannon second cannon another pylon and uh, really I have no idea this roach one is coming and I'm gonna have to scout this because this is as fast as you can get roaches here he's getting three roaches and he's gonna rally lanes after that um, which is pretty much the early virtual end. It's it's not a hard hitting one, but it is it is early enough that it might catch me off guard here. Um, my nexus is almost done. My gateway is coming up. Second cannon uh, finishes. Look at the income tab. Okay, he sacrificed so many uh, workers, and I see I see his his uh, his uh, roaches actually go right past my probe. So I scout and I see the roach one. Uh, this is what I envision here. I totally know the roaches are on the way. I saw the roaches when I went up the ramp. Um, you know, I see the roach one, and I'm like, okay. But yeah, he sacrificed harvesters to make his army unit. So I'm actually ahead in the income, and he's rallying in link. So he scouts my cans, and I'm like, oh crap. Uh, I actually canceled the nexus. I get money back. And in retrospect, I don't know if this is such a good idea, because I actually have enough money to put down extra cans without canceling the nexus. So I think it was a little bit of overkill, but I was very, I was playing very defensively, and I was like, okay, threw up more cannons, you know, this is gonna be my fifth cannon on the way here, and uh, canceled my nexus, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, I didn't really need to cancel my nexus, so I might as well just put it back up as soon as I uh, hit 400 there, and his lings dart in, but yeah, you you cannot run by this. I mean, lings uh, are two shot by cannons, so. And I do put this uh, gateway down just to kind of plug this gap, and I kind of make a zealot and, and make sure that. There are definitely going to be no run buys, but yeah. So I don't know if canceling the nexus was such a good idea. I just have to rebuild it there. I could have been um, farther ahead if I had let it stay. So actually, this attack I would say is worth it from him, just because um, he had to. Uh, he, well, he made me cancel the nexus. He made me invest so much money in these cannons. I mean, that's a lot of money in stack defenses, which aren't going to do anything um, if he doesn't attack. So um, he's joining up. You know, he's. Uh, he is uh, getting his a uh, quick third. This is something that uh, Zerg players love to do if their virtual in um, doesn't do any damage. 
Uh, you know? I mean, what am I? My, my warp gate just finished, so there's no threat on this third for another minute or so, and, and he can freely drone up. Um, and he looks like he's taking down these rocks, getting his queen, uh, spread the creep, um, tumor here, and just walk the queen, the queen over there. And he's actually getting an evolution chamber, I think he might go for plus one uh, attack. Um, and look, even in harvesters, you know, he scared me enough that I am afraid to drone up or to eco up because I don't know, you know, I mean, this is my vision here. Is he, is he coming to attack me again? Is he just saving up roaches for a bust? Is he ecoing hardcore? And it looks like I actually sent a probe, and I did see this hatch, and this is key, because now I know I don't need to put any more cannons down, you know, I can safely uh, get my expand up, I, I can eco out um, probes a bit more, getting my third gateway now, and it uh, looks like I got a star gate, but let me see, does he see this? Yes, he does. So um, earlier he flew his overlord here, and I killed it with a stalker, but not before he saw the star gate, and I'm getting a void ray, but, um, and this is to kill this, to kill this hatch, the whole point of this Stargate. I debated canceling it when I when I knew that uh, his overlord was scouting it, but you know I decided to continue on with the plan because I need to deny this third. Um, and it uh, looks like he is still droning up like mad. He's he's got spore crawlers down. I mean he's ready for the void rays when they do come. Uh, and it looks like I'm getting my second void ray now. And income tab. This really is horrific saturation. I do need to get some better saturation on that on that mineral patch. This is not so great saturation either, but I'm saving money because if you look, I have my, my uh, fourth gateway down and I'm going to try a a one gate <laughs> one or one star gate for warp gate push to kill the third. And this is a build that um, you really only use against, it looks like he paused it, that's what he was talking about, and uh, he paused it right as when he saw the void right coming across the tower, so I was like, what? What, what shenanigans are going on here? But yeah, I hold position here, so not in range of the spores here, but this queen starts to uh, pop some darts in the hole, and I have to get out of there. But I am putting a pylon down here, and that will allow me to warp in on the low ground here, and allow me to get uh, my forces into a position where I might be able to snipe this third. It's all about sniping the third. That is the whole point of the build. Looks like he's getting his lair at his natural expansion. That is an interesting move. Um, but yeah, look at the production tab. Now he knows, he knows my forces are coming. And you know, I see, oh, okay, he's starting to rally in guys. Look at the supplies, he is, uh, <laughs> he's a head supply. I focus down the spore crawler though, I need to charge these board rays on the hatch maybe. Um, move my, my soccer's in a great move so that they are not surrounded. Good force fields here, trapping these things in there, not going anywhere. Uh, and his queen's uh, hit the spore claw is trying to, to reburrow there, but I actually snipe the roaches coming out of the hatch. He snipes one void right there, and I'm rallying in more stalkers. This is an extremely tense moment because I do need to kill this hatch for this uh, investment in my in my units to be worth it here. So I snipe the last board crawler, so now I'm getting my void right charged up here. And this whole time, I'm not ecoing at all. He is a head in economy. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Objection tab, just rallying in units, pure units. I mean, he has so many zerglings. And I'm like, oh crap, I am surrounded by, by links here. Uh, this void rate is not even charged. Really need to get that charge on the hatchery. I'm warping in guys as fast as I can. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. This this is this is a very, very close competition. He snipes my last void rate. So now I have no DPS against these roaches. That was my that was uh, why I had the void rate. But it looks like an advantage here. Except that seven roaches popping off now. And I'm getting units as fast as I can. Our money is nice and low just because we're spending um, guys or we're spending money on, on our units so fast. But he's rallying in so many rare roaches, six more roaches, four more lings, and I, I'm, I'm pumping out soccer as fast as I can, microing that soccer back, uh, trying to keep my units alive as long as possible to really bring this hatch down. It's almost down. I don't know if I target it right now, I'm able to snipe it, but he has some roaches coming in. But I do have soccer, I do need to snipe this hatch. Really decide to stop. We're trying to clear out these roaches, marking these weakest stalkers back. Good move. But the blinks are coming in to absorb a lot of the shots. I'm trying to scoot and shoot my way back to my defensive, uh, my defensive pile on there. Um, and some of these roaches are so weak. This queen, I could snipe the queen. This hatch with it only has 400 hit points. If I could just focus it, it would be, it would be so beneficial uh, to my game here. But he is rallying in guys just enough, just enough guys. I think might be able to. Uh, Look, trying to micro my stalkers back, but to no avail. I mean, with this last round of roaches here, I realized, okay, there's no way I'm sniping this hatch now. I think, 
If I had sniped it with my stalkers earlier, I might have been able to take out the hatch. Might have been able to uh, to really set uh, the Zerg player back a lot. But he did lose a bunch of queens. Look at the uh, units lost tab. I'm definitely behind, but it is fairly close. It is fairly even. Income tab. Um, I was able to eco up during the later parts of the attack once I realized, you know, I don't know if I can if I can really pull off the uh, the the, the uh, hatch snipe there. And uh, yeah, fairly even in these uh, in these units lost, but. A third hatch for a Zerg is so good uh, against a, t a two base Protoss. I mean, there's, I mean, he's definitely ahead um, with that, and with the rallying in of all these roaches here, he was expecting a third to be down here. Um, he sees me breaking the rocks down here. Um, I don't see him, so I don't know that he has all these roaches here. But uh, he's getting a spire now, and he's getting uh, plus one armor. I think he has plus one attack. No, so actually he got that Evo Chamber just for spores, and it's just now starting his upgrades. Um, but I am taking down these rocks here, but oh, I need to notice, oh, I need to notice, get out of there, get out of there, I just, yeah, a little bit late, good force fields, these are actually perfect force fields, uh, keeping a couple of torches down, uh, not much overlap on those force fields, those were great, I was, I was pretty proud of myself, <laughs> and uh, something my void right, because I know, you know, uh, he's probably focused so much on making roaches to defend my push here that he probably doesn't have time to to attack to uh, hydras or anything. So I I made some void rays, uh, two void rays to be exact, and I'm gonna go try and snipe this. I'm I mean I I really need to snipe that hatchery. I uh, will see how that goes. And I have my roaches lily getting immortals. Have my twilight council. Um, looks like I'm getting plus two uh, attack. Um, uh, my my grand forces are already one one one. And here we go. Uh, focusing on the extractor, I think, just to charge up so I can take out the queen, and didn't charge up at all. Uh, so I mistimed that a bit, and there we go. One void ray is charged. Type patch, type patch. Come on. And I realized, oh dang. And once again, I think I could have sniped the hatch there. I really do. But instead, I'm focusing mutas, which is not bad. I mean, I. But I realized, you know, I can't outrun muta, mutas. There's no way. I might get one more muta here. Uh, yes, I do. Um. And he actually cancels my hatch here with a spread of creep. And I finish knocking down these. But I, once again, I think I could have sniped the hatch. I, I kind of I made a decision. Is he going to have more units in time? Or do I have time to snipe his two meters and then take out the hatch? And I should have realized he's probably rallying in more units than just those two. And perhaps gone for the hatch. But I was afraid, you know, if I don't get the hatch, then I just lose two void rays and he doesn't lose anything. So... Uh, really, I mean, things are a little bit ugly for me at this point. Look at the income tab, 70 to 52. I'm uh, not low on harvesters, but I mean, on on, uh, on two base, but on three base, and he's not getting his fourth base. I mean, he has a good harvester count right here, getting plus one attack for his mutas. You always kind of want to go for plus one attack for mutas, as opposed to plus one armor, just because uh, plus one attack affects the, the uh, mutas um, slash damage, the uh, bounce of whatever, I don't remember what it is. Glaive worm, yeah, glaive worms. <laughs> and here we go, so once I see the mutas, I'm like, okay, uh, gotta get some phoenixes, I do have my stargate, so that shouldn't be too hard. Kiting his mutas back, I did lose one phoenix there, but he's rallying in, continuing to rally in the mutas here. Production tab, more mutas on the way. Um, plus two, ground attack, snipes the pile on powering my stargate, so I won't be able to get phoenixes for a little while here. I'm able to get some stalkers and uh, getting blink, I uh, need to be able to chase away those mutas and trying to get my third up. Um, but it uh, looks like, let's see, what do we have going on here? Looks like, oh, so yes, I did. I did send in a little uh, a warp prism to to try to snipe some of the drones here. Sorry, I missed that. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I might have sniped a queen there, but it didn't barely do anything. Um, and. Oh, I need to cancel that. Cancel. Oh, I did not cancel that. I remember clicking on it, trying to cancel it, and, and failing. And he's even sniping some of the... <laughs> oh my gosh, even sniping some of my drones. I don't think that worker's killed. Yeah, so he did... I, um, that warp, really did, that warp in at, the, at his, uh, his main really didn't do that much damage. Just making sure on that. And now his fourth is up, and uh, he is getting a spore collar and a spine collar. Good against Dark Templar, you know. Um, Kind of the classic move to, to put at each expo in the mid late game uh, could transfer some of these workers away. In fact, I should. And uh, my Dark Templar Shrine is out. I'm like, okay, 
I need Archons at least. Dark Templar, just to put on pressure, but at least I need Archons. And here we go, it looks like he's coming in with all these mutas. That is a lot of mutas. I do have a bunch of uh, Stalkers and one Phoenix to kind of do some damage against that. And I'm getting uh, more gateways here, but um, he's just taking down his, his uh, the rocks for his, for his gold, for his fifth base. And things are really looking ugly for me here. Um, and he's sniping, uh, sniping the Dark Shrine there. And I actually warp in, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to have Dark Templar for a while here, so I need to warp him in now. And he actually takes that down. Does lose a, lose a couple mutas there. Um, and, and here we go. So, <laughs> my warp prism here is able to warp in three Dark Templar that take out the spore there. Snipe the hatch, actually. That is key. And my warp prism still chilling there. Was able to barely warp on there. Snipe and broodlings were just the most effective use. Uh, and it looks like I could pick up. Why am I not picking up? Oh, I was afraid of mutas. I was afraid of mutas coming to snipe. Uh, the warp prism full of dark Templar. So I'm actually, he's actually sniping this base here. I actually ward him away, and now I'm sending a couple of dark Templar. I need to snipe. Uh, looks like I'm sending the queen here. I have a dark Templar do, uh, trying to snipe this hatch. Actually, does not work. Uh, and these two are are killing drones. Uh, looks like six and eight kill. So not not too shabby there. Um, and plus three attack on the way. So my guys are nicely upgraded. Two two one. Uh, here goes my Dark Templar trying to set the hatch. This is what I need to do. But this time he does have so many guys. <laughs> 118 health. This hatch has survived three attempts on its life. <laughs> and uh, supplies, I mean he has 50, uh, 50 supply ahead so he is definitely doing stellar right now. Um, Templar Archives, I'm like okay. I need Storm, I need Archons, I need some uh, area of effect damage against these Mutas. And uh, Phoenix aren't going to cut it at this stage. That's just so many mutas. Um, Stalkers really aren't the best against mutas, as you guys probably know. Um, I do need Archons, and here we go. I'm getting my first Archon here, but I'm starved for money. I mean, Income Tab. He's actually lost a bit of workers, and he's actually coming in to snipe. And actually, oh my gosh, he's sniping all my workers. He's actually targeting down my, uh, targeting down my hatch, or my, my, uh, yeah, my, my Nexus there. Snipes the Nexus. Isn't even gonna bother with the kills. He's done enough damage there. Uh, I did kill a bunch of his Zerglings, but really, um, this Nexus was key. This was very key. So now I'm super far behind. Uh, you know, I, I mean, okay, he's getting more Mutas, more Lings. He's got a couple more hatches. Um, this one is almost done. This one's building here. Could actually go for this one. He has a little bit of mi uh, minerals there. He's max though. Going for the, uh, the kill there. And again! I was uh, I was too slow to cancel the Nexus. That is killing me. That is really killing me there. Um, <laughs> I don't have the money to throw up another Nexus, so I'm long distance mining because you know I am basically on half a base. Or well, you could say I'm on one base um, for now. And I'm like, okay, desperation push. I have three Archons now. Uh, plus three attack is done. That was what I was waiting for. He has two armor, and I'm gonna have to do something major here because that is so many mutalisks. And here we go, Guardian Shield. Uh, oh, the Shred Mute is so hard. Uh, here we go, I need to get these Zealots in the front. That is bad army positioning. So many clumped Mutas. I'm like, okay, if I, okay, need to get this Archon to do splash damage, but it's too late. There's so much DPS. They're like one-shotting my Archons. The Banelings roll in, cleaning house. These Zealots, barely, they get to the front, but too late. I mean, these Mutas are dishing out the pain. Uh, this immortal's like, oh, I wish I could put my guns upward. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> GG. So I was like, okay. You know, um, this was, okay, it all came down to not sniping this hatch here. If I got the hatch, it would have been uh, worth it for me. Uh, it would have made that attack worth it. But, you know, I sent so much against this hatch, it didn't fall. Um, he played it very well. Um, the muta tech switch was was uh, unscouted by me until there were mutas at my front door doing damage. And you now it was never able to, to, um, to, to, I don't know, I'm looking for, steady, steady out, steady, to, to, well, you guys know, you know. I'm totally blanking on this word right now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, this was, this was a good game though. Well played by him. Um, and he never went to hype tech. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I would have gone to high tech sooner on all the spaces, but yep. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and comment, rate, subscribe. I will have more videos out soon.